All right, so I'll get the winch on the bison. And uh, as much as I really like it, I think the rope is too long. Because when I wind it up, it gets all just messed up in there. And if I'm trying to recover myself or someone, you don't get to choose where the rope goes. So uh, I think I'm going to pull some out, cut it, make a new end, and then keep the extra that I cut as an extension. I think that'd be best. I think I got about 100 feet on here now. I'll probably cut uh, 40 feet off, I'm, I'm guessing. We'll, 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 we'll take a look here now. So we need to get underneath here. And disconnect this guy. Okay. See, it's getting caught in all this junk. Zena, if you're not gonna help, then move. Silly pupper. Yeah, this isn't gonna work. There we go. Okay. a better place to work on stuff. All right, YouTube, what I did is I uh, took the strap off the rope itself, took the rope off the winch, wrapped the strap around the drum, ran some electrical tape around it, so now it's got like a heat shield on the drum. And then I round up, wound up the rope and I put my last little piece of strap here just so I know when I'm pulling out my rope, that's as far as I can go. So now I'm gonna wind it back up. All right, YouTube, I am playing with my winch out here, stretching the rope and making sure everything works right. I got the truck in neutral and I got the parking brake on uh, seven clicks. So it's almost dragging the rear end, but not quite yet. Got the winch coming out of the bumper. I got it coming to Gear America uh, tree strap to uh, a four ton D-ring there. And then I have this new Gear America, uh, this is the mega um, pulley and it's rated it's rated for like 25 tons something ridiculous like that but anyway here it is in action 
I got the other line going back to my uh, tow hook on the truck. Super quiet. No noise. Just. YouTube this is a review of the gear America shackle they are uh, 10 ton working limit and uh, I think they're 25 ton minimum braking but uh, I'll snap a picture of that for you but look at the size difference between the two The Smitty built shackle, and uh, this is four and three quarter ton. See that there? Working load limit four and three quarter ton, and this one says right there, ten ton. Huge difference. Massive size difference. This has got a cool coating on it too. These are called the Uber uh, shackles because they have a, a bolt on the end here. You can use a socket to tighten if you want. It's got a hole that goes all the way through. Uh, so you can stick a screwdriver or something in there to wrench on it. It actually comes with its own little device here to tighten it. Um, comes with a bunch of rubber gaskets so as you can see I can put it on the truck and it just doesn't rub no noise doesn't hit nothing but the uber comes with this little thing here this little guy which is like a key and it lefty loosey righty tidy on the regular shackle just like everything else but this is a reverse thread so this is righty loosey lefty tidy and um, it comes with this other little key here that you use to lock and un unlock it. So someone tries to steal this thing and they loosen this, they're actually tightening this. Uh, so you can't get it off without taking this cap off first and most people probably won't even realize it. Uh, the other thing that I think is pretty cool is that this uh, fits this shackle. They're all the same three quarter. This fits on this, this fits on that, same difference. So if you end up losing one and need to steal one from this for whatever reason, you can. I thought that was kind of cool. So yeah, let me show you how this thing goes. So we're gonna tighten it here and I'm gonna get it pretty tight there we go so it's on there pretty tight now and then this guy loosen it to tighten it on this side so completely backwards than what we're all used to okay that one's on and you put this in there like that so you can wrench on it a little bit harder there you go What's up, Zena? You always want to be in the videos, don't you? Mm -hmm. No, don't take my key. That's the key. Anyhow, that's the review. Uh, haven't used them yet. 
but I've had them on the truck for a couple days now. They don't make any noise. Don't even notice that they're back here. But uh, the locking mechanism is pretty cool. Make people honest. You got another one on that side there. Uh, when I do use them, I don't think I'll take these off. I'll probably just do like a soft shackle or use the uh, the hitch there anyway. So 